Meanwhile, in Sudan, elements of the military protected protesters from security forces. Soldiers attempted to chase away pickup trucks firing tear gas at demonstrators. Sudan's information minister contradicted the report, stating that the security apparatus was working with positive energy and in harmony. Thousands of protesters are taking part in a sit-in outside the army headquarters. They are refusing to leave until President Omar al-Bashir steps down. At least six protesters were killed in Khartoum and one in Darfur during protests on Saturday and Sunday. According to the country's interior minister, 2,496 protesters were arrested in Khartoum. All right, we are joined by Dr. Hassan Kanenje. He is director of the Horn Institute based in Kenya and a doctor of international affairs and relations. Dr. Hassan. Thank you for joining us here on Africa Live. Let, let's dig straight into it. Sudanese soldiers intervene to protect demonstrators on Monday after security forces tried to break up a protest. What does this mean? I think it's a recognition of the limits of violent repression against it. Mostly a group that is largely peaceful, peaceful protesters. And I think we have seen this happen in Algeria recently. And I think it's being replicated at this stage in the Sudan. All right, but small but sustained protests have been staged regularly since December. How long do you think they're going to continue? And most importantly, are they likely to succeed in your opinion? The duration of these protests, I, I think, are going to depend on a number of things. Number one, whether the government in Khartoum is going to respond to people's uh, calls for uh, change, and whether at the same time the protesters are going to have the guts to continue you know, staying in the, within the streets, in part because uh, in the light of what is happening, especially an apparent appearance of division within security services, if in fact the security services, some of them start siding with protesters, then I think you may see change in the Sudan very soon. Okay, let me get your insight on this. How do you think the government is going to respond to the protests? Unfortunately, uh, governments, especially the ones that have been in power for a very long time, the only Thing they know is use force. However, it's going to be worse for the government in Khartoum to uh, perhaps move towards the, in the direction of, of reform or at least uh, give them a sign instead of having a state of emergency, perhaps leave the state of emergency and allow certain freedoms and some form of political organization because even in the absence, uh, in, the, in the event of, uh, let's say, the departure of the current president, El Bashir, I think there's going to be a huge vacuum in Sudan, in part because for a very long time there was no room for political organization. All right. Dr. Hassan Kanenje, so many questions, so little time, but thank you for breaking it down for us. Thanks for having me.